Hey everyone, it's Gary the Scott Man. We're here to do a drive video today. We are heading counterclockwise, I would say, on Interstate 465, which is the big loop, which goes around Indianapolis. So, yep, yeah, so... So we're basically heading from Interstate 70 near the Indianapolis airport, heading all the way to I-69 up in the northeast part of the area. It is a overcast day out today, and my current thermometer is being 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Convert that to Celsius. It is around maybe like one degree. are quite wet as you can tell because it looks like it because there's been some snow here this morning but it looks like probably nothing that really stuck to the ground or anything because it's a little too mild out and now anyway so as you can see yeah we got a lot of road work coming up here because yeah, what they're doing which we'll see in a little bit that they're they've been doing a big actually back to that in a second but really quick it's like yeah this is my second Indianapolis drive video I've done recently because I did one on my way down to Houston where I went west on Interstate 70 through downtown Indianapolis so I figure why not do the loop this time at some point in the future, I'll need to come back and do like the second half. Anyway, so they're making an extension to Interstate 69. It's eventually going to be going all the way down to the border with Mexico because originally it was only only went from like Port here on Michigan all the way down to Indianapolis, or to the northeast part, but they're, they've are they extended all the way down toward Evansville, Indiana, and there's one final stretch between this loop here and Interstate, or not the Interstate, but in Greenwood, Indiana, that they have to complete. They're currently working on that right now, and they're starting to work on the interchange here. So they're almost in the final stages for the Indiana portion. Although they still got to build, they still have to build the bridge going over the Ohio River. In yeah, I gotta get around this truck, but there's someone coming, so I'm stuck here. So up here comes the interchange, yeah, the uh, guy messed up my windshield, so I better, I need to clean it. So here is where they're putting in the brand new interchange, here you, you see the, the exit ramp that they're building there. Because they pretty much have transformed Highway 37 into Interstate 69, and this is where the freeway is going to be coming out over to, and then it's going to run concurrent with 465, going all the way up to where I-69 currently is, as you head northeast up toward Fort Wayne, and then eventually to Michigan. But yeah, it'll be really nice when it's all done, though. I'm not sure not sure when they're supposed to be complete. My guess is they could be done but toward the end of the year, but we'll have to wait, we'll have to wait and see about that. But yeah, this interchange right here, this is for Highway 37. So until that new interchange for I-69 is complete, that's the main exit that people have been taking for the, for a long time to get down toward Bloomington, Indiana. But then once the interchange is complete, then it'll be a lot easier. So yeah, 
we've been doing a lot of road work on this part here. So at some point, maybe next year, I'll, I'll, I'd have to come back to see what it looks like when it's all done. But yeah, although not today because it's a little chilly and a little damp out, but I would like to come back to Indianapolis. I need to do like a new video down in this area at some point. And I know my, my friend Dima, who I've talked about, who I've met up with in Northwest Indiana, because he lives up in the Chicago area. He's, I think he's told me that if I make a trip down to Indianapolis, he'd love to drive down and we'd hang out for the day or something. to the 
west northwest out of here out toward Peoria, Illinois, and then it continues southeast toward Cincinnati. So then yeah, getting back to the trip, so this is my second day of driving and Effingham was where I stayed the night. So today's a lighter driving day for me, where yesterday was the, the, the bigger day. Because I drive all the way from Houston. Which I think overall, with including a couple of stops to get gas and getting lunch on the way, I think it took me about 13 and a half hours. Which isn't, it isn't too bad. And then for the second day, it's like maybe like seven hours, so a little, a little more than half. another seven miles until we get to back to I-70 and then 14 miles until we get to I-69 north. And that's basically where we're going to be ending this video. And unless the, unless the weather gets bad or something, I'm planning to film one more driving video before I get home to Michigan today. There is a video I would like to film over in or along I-69. Because I've been filling a lot on I-69 as of late, on, in this, like, even in the state of Indiana. I already completed northbound and eastbound in, in Michigan. Now I'm doing like the original stretch in Indiana. Because I did a couple, no, I did one stretch back in November when I went to Fort Wayne. Like this was almost two months ago, real time. done a stretch near like the Fishers, Indiana area, which I, I did that a few years ago. So I'll probably do the stretch which goes over like around like Anderson and Muncie, Indiana, because that'd be a good one to do today. So coming up here, so this is the exit for I-74 East, so this is where I-74 breaks off of 465 loop and then it continues its way to the southeast toward Cincinnati where it ends over at I-75 and you can't see it but it looks like the sun's trying to make an appearance
here, I-70 East will take you east out of Indianapolis. It'll take you out toward Dayton, Ohio, and then eventually to Columbus, Ohio. And then it continues its way into Pennsylvania, going south of Pittsburgh, and then eventually ending up over in the Baltimore, Maryland area. Where I-70 West, that's will take you into downtown Indianapolis, and then back to where we started this video, continues west into Illinois, eventually towards St. Louis. So you got the big interchange here. And funny enough, maybe it's because of the construction right now on 465, but the fastest way for me to get through Indianapolis is not the way I'm going. It'd be almost, it's almost faster for me to, if I would have stayed on I-70 going through downtown Indianapolis and then getting off of it over here and then getting on the 465 at this interchange. So I think according to the signs, I would have saved two minutes, but this is a video I needed to film, so this works out very well. do is I'll get an early lunch in the Anderson, Indiana area, and then I'll film, hopefully film a second driving video, again, weather permitting. Well, you'll know if, if next week's driving video is going to be I-69 or if it's something completely different. If it's not something completely different, then you'll know why.
Michigan going up to Lansing and then heading east toward Flint and then ending up in Port Huron as it crosses over the Blue, the Blue Water Bridge going over into Canada. So I'll be curious what the... So it wouldn't surprise me in a, in a couple of years or so from now if I end up refilming this video just to show like the new interchange and I think I'm about to get back over because we got someone who is yeah there's too, too much traffic in that lane so I'm going to have to follow the truck all the way to the exit The actual exit will be a little bit before the interchange, so I'll be filming a part of the interchange too. Just so that the video is a little bit more complete. It'll be nice to see how this looks when everything's done though. Mm. Alright, here's the exit and here's the interchange and this is how it, it currently looks with all the construction right now. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video here on I-465 going counterclockwise around the city of Indianapolis going from I-70 West near the airport all the way to I-69 North. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button and uh, don't forget to click that subscribe button so that we don't miss out on any future adventures. Well, thank you for watching and this is Scott of the Scott Man Sayo here from Indianapolis, Indiana.